How does it work? I need to clap. What is the clap? It syncs up the cameras. Should I clap? You can if you want. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm probably going to be doing my own hair for another month. How do you feel about that? Safe. Your hair looks good. My neighbor ordered me spray that takes away the gray, so oh. you spray it around the edge. But you shouldn't see the back. What does it look like in the back? It's not a pretty picture. What are your friends doing about their hair? They're all spraying. The spray company must be making a fortune. How did you feel when the pandemic first started? I couldn't believe it. President Trump is expected to declare a national emergency. I feel scared, worried for my family, very vulnerable. When do you get most scared? Listening to TV, but I'm kind of addicted. What do you watch? I like Andrew Cuomo. He comes on every morning. We're going to get through it because we are New York and because we are New York tough. I think he's very smart and I think he's honest. I love him. Have you heard the term Cuomo sexual. Many Americans experience moments of being at least Andrew curious, if not fully Cuomo sexual. I don't get it. I hear he drives a vintage sports car. He also has a motorcycle. Do you like that? Yeah, that's fine. He's probably wears a helmet. Do you think he's handsome? Not as much as Chris. He really is handsome. If you had to pick one of the Cuomo brothers to go on a date with, which would you pick? Why not do both? You mean go on dates with both of them? That would be nice. You'd have to keep your social distance. Who says? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Anthony Fauci? I think he's a hero. He stands up to President Trump's statements that are not true. Do you think Fauci's handsome? He's not bad looking. He's sure got a great personality. Would you go on a date with him? He's married. If you went on a date with him, would you have to social distance? Absolutely. Well, I bet he has access to testing. I'm sure he does. So maybe it would be okay. Uh, no. How do you like Deborah Burks? Oh, she's the scarf lady. I think she's very knowledgeable. Do you like her scarves? Hey, if she's happy, what do I care? Does it inspire you to want to wear neck scarves? No. What do you think about wearing masks? I think it's a great idea. You're not just doing it for yourself. You're doing it for other people. This is the one Rick made for me. Wow, that looks pretty cool. I've been reading that it's starting to become a fashion statement. I saw a woman in the store the other day wearing a Gucci mask. Oh yeah, there's some beautiful ones. There's also golden retriever masks. Really? Different dogs. Do you think you look good in a mask? The older I get, the better I look in a mask. <laughs> <laughs> What's been the hardest moment so far during this time? After I talk to my family and I hang up and I'm all alone. Mm. It's very hard. All the things I did that were fun and social stopped. I actually lost weight. Wow. And not trying. It's just, I, I think I'm eating my own food. <laughs> but I'd rather go to the restaurants. What advice do you have for people who are lonely right now? You know, you could turn it around into a positive. Read a good book. Trying to be creative and try new things. People are starting to knit. A lot of them are baking. I even baked a cake. I can't believe it. And it actually tasted all right. <laughs> what <laughs> tips do you have for people about their hair right now? Think about all the other things that could be wrong. Be grateful. Stick a hat on. Thank mm -hmm. you.